Hey, God bless. The rich keep getting richer. So this one has to do about the fires in Malibu that um, we had at the end of last year. Um, mind you, Malibu and the surrounding areas, these are, these contain among the wealthiest people in the nation. The decadence and money is just mind-blowing. I mean, what they spend on a car is what most people will never, ever even spend on a house. Um, and they have multiple houses. They jet set. I mean, they have money coming out of their ears. Whether it is... And you meet people where it's like, oh, yeah, like, her dad really made a lot of money. And then you just have, like, just tons of people living off of, like, one person for, like, decades on end. You have, when you get into it, a lot of things out here are subsidized. Um, it's just, which is taxpayers' money going to support the excessively wealthy. And you're not asking them to take sobriety test. Um, so here's one thing. And mind you, when the fires broke out here in L.A. County in Malibu, I mean, the, I remember, like, the night it broke out, there was a group of us, like, watching it. And we were like, holy moly, are you kidding me? And, um, and on, on the radio, it was just, there was already people setting up go, like, what was it? Go me funds, go funds or whatever. There was already people calling in going, oh yeah, I set up a fund. I'm already like taking the money and I'm buying stuff and I'm dropping it off at shelters. Um, these are among the wealthiest people ever. It's all going to be insured. So from, and even what was it, Miley Cyrus on day one was like tweeting out like, you know, make sure you support these people, send money to this. Like, are you kidding? So on this one um, fundraiser they had, what is it, at King Gillette Ranch, um, they raised a million dollars. It would be interesting to know how much all the different sessions, um, they, the money they've raised for these million and billionaires. I mean, they have one beach, which is called the Billionaire Beach, because basically, if you own a house on the section of PCH, you are a billionaire. And it's alarming, because even from a distance, it's like... The mountains don't look different. Usually when you have um, a crisis situation, a, na a natural disaster, I'll say a natural disaster. Usually when you have a natural disaster, even from a distance, you you can tell. The land is so excessively scarred, you can tell. Whether it's fire, hail, flooding, from a distance, you know. Um... Hold on, I'm getting to it. They were dedicated, even throwing people in the water to get water to people. And they had collections, Malibu Strong, I love it, in a crisis, yet they still have, still have time to make up signs. Here's some, oh, here's... I, these really aren't wildfires. They're not forest fires. There are wealth warfare fires. Can we look at this picture? I mean, there's a lot of pictures in here, but this is one of the most telling. Do you see it? The fence? It looks good shape. There's not... There, there, there's not even evidence of smoke. All still pristine white. All the windows are gone on that car. The hood is totally gone. Look at the trees. This is not a wildfire. Trees burn at a far lower temperature than glass and metal. What's going on here? I would really, it's alarming that no one asks the obvious questions. Of course, you're, you're told to shut up. This is the new normal. And I've even heard, what is it, on um, StopTheCrime.net, um, she has a lot of good stuff. She covers a lot of things from water to fire and other electronics, um, warfare. 
um, but it's actually, she covered a lot up in Northern California, and she even said, and it was fascinating because it was last year's fire, that's the one that I'm remembering at the moment, just, she interviewed several people and just, um, it's heartbreaking because they attacked them at night, these winds came out of nowhere, the fire came out of nowhere, even like this time, all of a sudden, like, it just comes. And you're like, what? And just, and it was bizarre, because like I said, I was watching this fire, and um, for the amount of flares we saw, and then when you saw, when it cleared out, it's like, why isn't the lines different? The lines should be different. Um, but yeah, what are we dealing with that it cannot burn the leaves off a tree, and yet, right next to it, it's melting glass and destroying metal. And on a lot of cases, the tires are gone too. This is a wildfire, that's for sure. It's a warfare fire. And you had horses. And this is, again, oh, this is another one. I mean, you have so many requirements. These, these, will you please keep in mind we're in LA, we're in California. These houses are built to withstand earthquakes, and yet they cannot withstand a fire that can't even burn trees. Again, they all have their leaves on. It's an interesting one day, a woman was talking about, from Malibu, talking about they had just bought a horse. I can't remember how much, and she was dropping numbers, and how they were having someone, sending someone over, because they would gotten it from, like, England or something, and the one guy was like, how much does that cost? And she's like, well, it depends, but your minimal is, um, what was it, 10000 and all the way up to twenty to $25,000 to send a person to go pick up a horse on the other side of the world, and then these are the same people who are like, you have to leave a zero footprint, a carbon, a zero carbon footprint. It's like, you know, like you're doing with all your animals, all your cars, all your double houses and your jet setting and picking up animals from around the world. Oh, this is a crazy one. I, I like, if this, if just like 1% of this mercy was shown to homeless, if 1% of the acceptance and mercy was shown to homeless, well, it'd just be like, wow. Um, so... Again, we have another thing. Not only were people donating food and all these different items and food for animals, they also had a this fundraiser of types for surfers of Malibu. Because it, it's, you, you just have to get back in the water. So what is it? Bands, Hurley, Outer Known, and Herschel. All donated stuff surf items to give to among the wealthiest people in the world. I've never heard of any of these places even, I mean, these are companies, and we're in a region, whether you're talking about, it's getting more and more popular um, across the country, we, these are companies, whether it's restaurants or clothing brand when they throw stuff out they will throw it out into dumpsters that are locked and gated and even I mean I have one guy I know he was talking about how he what was it went to Panera and he heard the gale coming moved aside but then she actually locked the gate he's like the gate's not always locked and she actually wound up locking it and it has spikes on the top of the gate it sounded he had he had a real <laughs> it was painful for him to get out of there but these people will lock up food and clothes, and yet they'll, they'll give it. They won't let the poorest of the poor have anything nice, and but they'll give their stuff to the riches of the rich. I know, uh, like, and that's been one of the things. It's like the real crime. The real injustice, the real inhumanity, is how much these people, these excessive wealthy people, throw away. And yet they're being given stuff incessantly. It's just like, wow. You will make it illegal for a person to go into a trash can. They will make it 
painful for a person to go into a trash can and buy. And they don't only like put like a deadbolt on it or a little fence around it. They will actually put like cage. Literally. They will cage dumpsters here. And it is illegal and it, too many tickets and they do throw you in jail for sleeping or being in the trash can. Um, their intolerance is through the roof. It, and this is just unbelievable. I, I Like, oh my gosh. If you would just let us go through your dumpsters, that would be such a massive step into acceptance and mercy. And yet you have these people gathering stuff for the richest of the rich. Just unbelievable. Well, if you made it this far, here are some pretty pictures. There was never a night or a problem that could defeat Sunrise or Hope. Well, that's it. Alrighty, have a great one. Bye.